you take the car, I'll walk. The Duke of Edinburgh shows he's 96 years young, as he strides to church at Sandringham, as the Queen opts to keep warm. Prince Philip easily belied his 96 years this morning, as he strode purposefully towards St. Mary Magdalene Church at Sandringham. While the Queen, elegant in a powder blue dress coat with diamond brooch, and matching hat with nature-inspired detail, opted for the warmer option of staying in her maroon Bentley, the Duke of Edinburgh looked more than happy to take the air. Accompanied by a female companion, Prince Philip looked in good spirits as he walked the 400-yard route past Well Wishers, who'd gathered to spot the royals. The Duke was joined by Princess Anne, her husband Sir Timothy Lawrence, and the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, at the 16th century church. Princess Anne, who was wearing a brown cape coat with a fur trim walked to the church, with her husband Sir Timothy Lawrence, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester and other house guests at Sandringham. Sir Lawrence enjoyed a joke with members of the crowd who wished him good morning. Commenting on the sunny weather, he told one member of the public, I hope you are not sunburnt. As has become the norm, well-wishers hoping to catch a glimpse of the royals, on their visit to the Sandringham Church were subject to a heavy police presence, with security checks being made along the route. There was plenty of jollity too however, with one policeman offering his police custodian hat to a couple of delighted young boys, who quickly grasped it from him. Meanwhile, inside the church, there was also some giggling going on. The Queen heard a bishop confess to speeding in his car as she attended church. The Bishop of Blackburn, the Right Reverend Julian Henderson, confessed his motoring sin during his sermon at St. Mary Magdalene Church in Sandringham. The bishop was preaching about the supreme authority of Jesus, and comparing it to the authority of other leaders, and even objects such as speed cameras. He admitted being caught speeding by a camera last year, and having to attend a speed awareness course to avoid getting points on his license. The congregation giggled as he described sitting in a room, with twenty other shamed offenders, only for one of them to recognize him and smile knowingly. The service which was broadcast on loudspeakers to the crowd outside in a paddock area began, with the singing of the national anthem. Sandringham Rector the Rev Canon Jonathan Revere offered prayers for the Queen, and all members of the royal family, as they fulfill their service among us. The Queen and Prince Philip are enjoying their extended festive break in Norfolk, having arrived at the royal estate back in December, before they welcomed the rest of the family, including Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, for festive celebrations. The Duke retired from official public duties last summer, but has continued to be photographed looking sprightly, and in good spirits. Philip, who will celebrate his 97th birthday in June, has frequently chosen to walk the route to St. Mary Magdalene Church in recent weeks, with the Queen preferring the short drive between the estate and the church. This morning, Prince Philip walked back from the church deep in conversation with Princess Anne, at the head of the procession of guests returning to Sandringham House for lunch.